Ете мой влогът с Хомела. Брагомо? Да. Я буду говорить на английском чуть-чуть. Хорошо, давай это делаем. Как тебя зовут? Коннор. Коннор? Да. О, хорошо тогда. Ты там. Всем привет. Мы сейчас в Гомол. Гомол самый красивый город. Как девушки здесь? Ну, девушки подходят. Да, подходят. Нормально, да. Нормально, только нормально. Не очень красивые. Но красивые почему? Ну. Здравствуйте. Мы все отдыхаем, да. все хорошо здесь. Вы Сегодня... куда? В какой стране? Мы из Ирака сами. Ирака? Ирака. Что да. вы делаете здесь? Мы просто гуляем и мы будем в библиотеке. А, в библиотеке. Да, вы мы... студенты здесь? Да, или? да, okay. да студенты. Медицина или какой? Да, да. Инженер. Он он инженер, инженер, да. да. Okay. А в Кроне? Да. Вы на отпуске здесь в Гуме? В Окей, Яка Кувала, я знаю. А вы будете ставить на YouTube или? Може пить, я не знаю, Подсмо, oh. посмотрим потом. Everyone, everyone, do, subscribe. 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 Please, uh, like такой молодой, name. красивый человек, не пускайте его. Супер, окей, okay, ребята. Okay. Хорошего вечера, Хорошо. до свидания. Сар Экспириенс. Всем привет! Welcome to Gomel or Hummel in Belarusian, Gomel in Russian in Belarus. It's another episode of the Vodka Vodcast. I'm Connor Klein and today it's appropriate that I'm shooting this episode in this town because I'm in the second biggest city in Belarus. It has a population of just over half a million people, Gomel, and that's the theme of today's video. Why you should consider visiting smaller towns in the countries that you are going to visit in Eastern Europe and not just stick to the main uh, touristic cities. Maybe not necessarily the biggest city like the capital. So in Russia, that's obviously Moscow. In Belarus here, it's Minsk. And if you go to Ukraine, that's going to be Kiev. But you should also consider going to the smaller towns, the less heard of ones. And in today's video, I'm going to explain uh, some of the cool things that happened and some of the advantages of going to a small town. Now, I know that you're watching this Almost certainly you're back in either North America, Western Europe, or maybe you're in Latin America at the moment. You're watching this and thinking, well, I have to fly uh, maybe you know, to another continent to come to Eastern Europe or definitely to a, di you know, a different part of the continent. And you know, with air transportation links and just my time, why should I bother going to these smaller towns? You just want to hit um, you know, Kiev, Odessa, maybe Lviv in Western Ukraine, or the capital of Minsk, or you want to go to St. Petersburg, or of course Moscow, because they're massive metropolises and there's a lot uh, on offer for you there. And I definitely agree. And when I organize you know, trips with my clients to come here and live this our experience, we inevitably do it in the bigger cities, uh, like obviously Kiev, Moscow, um, Minsk or Odessa during the summer in particular and I don't tend to bring them so often to these smaller towns but if you are open to it and you have a little bit more experience uh, over time traveling in the region then you should definitely consider it so now I'm going to get into exactly what it has to offer now the most obvious upside to going to a smaller town is the cost because in general smaller provincial towns just about anywhere in the world not exclusively everywhere but in overwhelmingly they're going to be cheaper and cheaper means that you can obviously get more value for your hard-earned US dollar or euro or British pound uh, when you come to a place like Gomel. Uh, I can tell you straight off the bat that Gomel versus Minsk the difference in price is pretty clear. Now I didn't actually pay so much less for my accommodation maybe I paid about 30% less but eating in the restaurants it's and going clubbing or going to bars it is half the price here as opposed to the capital mints now in um, one of my other um, videos I outlined uh, you know it's actually the the winter nightlife vlog from Mints. You can go to that one. I'm going to link it up uh, in a card above, also below in the description. You'll see that I do talk a little bit about, you know, the difference in prices. And, you know, if you compare that to London and Paris already, how cheap Mints is compared to those cities. But think of it, it's half the price here. So that's going to be number one uh, <laughs> reason to come consider coming to a smaller, more provincial town is, of course, the price and the value that you can get with that. Now, 
The kind of argument to that is that in general, nightlife in smaller provincial towns is not up to the same standard. And it's not just nightlife like amenities or you know, the, the, the quality of the restaurants is not going to be as good. Um, but here in, in, in Gomel, I have to say that there's enough, there's definitely less selection than you're going to find in a capital like Minsk. But at the same time, um, the good places here, there are enough of them. So if you're coming for like a few days or even up to a week, it's still enough uh, places to give you, another, you know, that variety. Uh, but of course, it's not going to be like a capital city in terms of uh, selection, but you get the same quality basically for uh, significantly less money that you have to fork out. So definitely that's a big plus. But that's not the main reason why I actually spend uh, a significant amount of time in the smaller cities. And if you're following me on Instagram and you're watching those Instagram stories that I pump out on a daily basis, you'll see me eating and drinking and maybe smoking shisha in a lot of places. And you're going to see where I actually am all the time. And you'll see that I am quite uh, reasonably frequently in the smaller, less visited towns either because I'm exploring or because I really just like them and think that it provides a different type of experience. So I want to illustrate uh, the value to you or you know why you should consider it with a few uh, short anecdotes in today's episode. So now we're in Belarus and I've been in Gomels for like the last four or five days and I'm really actually enjoying the city. I'm here by the river Soj which is the main river uh, through um, Belarus's second city and it just made me thinking a little bit about other smaller towns that I've gone to. Now, here in Belarus, I've also made some travel vlogs from Grodno and from Brest, which are both in the west of the country. And I visited those last year. Of course, I'm going to link all that up above in a card and below in the description so you can go take a look at them. But for instance, uh, my trip to Brest was really, really interesting because, you know, it didn't have so many places like we're saying, it actually was really limited, I would say, in the number of like good cafes, restaurants, bars and clubs. And it was basically, you know, having been there for five days and then taking another five day trip, I understood that basically I'm limited to one of each uh, that I personally liked when I go there. And that might sound like a very bad thing, but actually it made it very simple. And we got the same cafe, the same um, cocktail bar at the weekend and um, the same. I actually didn't really like the nightclubs there, but I went to the same restaurants, basically one or two of them all the time. And actually everybody else was kind of concentrated into those places. And that made it actually really easy to build up rapport with people who worked there or people who frequented them extremely quickly. Because um, if you're going to the nicer places in the city, it's going to be the same people and they're going to recognize you, especially if you are not from there and you are a foreigner like you are, then that is the first big reason. It's novelty and curiosity. You are going to be a big fish in a small pond if you go to a town like Brest or here in Gomel or say you're in Ukraine and you go to Chernihiv or Ternopil or let me think where else is, have I been to like Kherson or Poltava and you know the smaller towns that don't get as many foreign visitors and definitely don't get those who are traveling. Now there are a lot of students um, foreign students who come and study in both Belarus and Ukraine and also in Russia, uh, maybe to a lesser, lesser extent today than in the past. But so people are used to seeing foreigners, but not actually foreign visitors who are, you know, outside of that, um, usually medical student or engineering student uh, faculty. And they are super curious because you have something unique uh, yourself and your experience and your story. And that's what people in smaller towns in general are going to be more enthusiastic about than say in a big capital where there's a lot of people coming and going and you know, a lot of businessmen coming in as well as maybe a lot of backpackers hitting uh, the backpacking circuit. And just so there's a general mass of people coming uh, there because it's a capital, it's got an airport that has a lot of international flights. And because it's a capital, it's the first city people think about visiting in a country. So uh, people in a capital city just get more visitors and so you are not going to be as unique there um, as you might think and that's especially the case in Ukraine where there's a lot of tourism nowadays. In Belarus of course it's a lot less. This has been traditionally the least visited country in all of Europe. So even in Minsk there is a little bit of a novelty factor but compared to going to a place like Brest uh, that's definitely going to be different. So when I went to Brest for example um, I felt a little bit like Colin Farrell. Now, let me explain. Like I uh, was also born in Ireland like him, but basically it felt like being a bit of a bit of a rock star or Hollywood star because um, so many people actually after four or five days of being in the town actually knew who I was, who I hadn't met. And how did they know that? They had been looking at Instagram and because I was going to these um, same places that were 
the nicer places in the city, like the best cafe, the best shisha bar, uh, and the, the best restaurant, basically, and the best cocktail bar, then local girls were actually looking at these, apparently, and then starting to follow me. And even some came up and said, hey, after a while, they were like, actually, we know who you are. We've seen you on Instagram. And basically, it was just because I was a foreign guy visiting their city, and it was such a rare event. I made a cut special uh, for them. And also, of course, when I met girls in um, Brest in particular, um, not that in order to be better with these cities, girls are not friendly to foreign guys. Uh, if you've watched my video, what they, what girls are mincing of foreign guys, you already got a very good indication of that. But there was even extra enthusiasm and uh, curiosity about who I was and what I was doing in their town. So that's definitely a huge reason to consider it. You are going to be uh, more special um, because you're going to be uh, a more unique kind of person to visit the city. And people are just going to be more curious in general. And that doesn't just mean, of course, local girls, which is probably your main priority in going to uh, these smaller towns, but also just local people in general and the reaction you get and the rapport that you can build up even quicker if you do that. So one of my other friends referred to this as white god factor. Now that's obviously a pretty racially loaded term but what what i think he's getting at well i know what he's getting is like the fact that you look a lot more special than you would be maybe back in your own hometown your own city um or even in the capital city than you do in these smaller places because you just stand out and that's kind of what i'm getting to that white god factor is going to be massive in uh, a smaller provincial town than it's going to be in a capital and that is a very good reason to consider visiting now the kind of argument for that or the counter experience I have gotten a little bit is uh, sometimes in smaller towns people are a little bit hostile to outsiders um, so that can happen so it's not going to be in every small town that I visited there have been places where people have been a little bit more uh, less enthusiastic and more suspicious of outsiders uh, maybe a little bit on the hostile side that doesn't happen so often in Eastern Europe but just bear that in mind uh, that that can sometimes happen so uh, it's not going to be in every small town that I'm going to get the breast reaction. Here in Gommel, the reaction has been pretty good. But I have to say, I did have um, slightly more issues, actually a lot more issues with guys over the, over the weekend here being hostile because I was a foreign guy. So that was kind of the, this was more in the clubbing situation of bars when I was out and talking to local girls, obviously. And there was definitely a little, a lot more uh, aggressiveness towards me because I was a foreigner and that's what you know I could pick up on that because they were explicitly saying it um, so yeah I gotta sometimes counterbalance that now that hasn't been my experience in any other city in Belarus and basically ever in Ukraine I could count the number of times I've had problems with guys on one one hand basically so it's not something I often experience in any case in the region uh, in particular because I speak Russian and some U Ukrainian some Belarusian uh, so it helps a lot with you know building a rapport also with with guys who might be hostile or a little bit jealous towards me uh, but actually in in, uh, in Gumbel over the weekend I had a few instances of that that was you know probably as many as I've had in all the other years combined so that can be something just to be a little bit aware of that uh, not everybody's going to be your biggest fan uh, but that shouldn't deter you obviously from coming here because you're obviously going to be more interested in how the local girls react to you than the local guys overall so it's not just Belarus where I've gotten the reaction also in Ukraine I remember a few years ago it's almost five years ago I took a little trip up to Chernihiv uh, which is north of Kiev near to the border actually with Belarus it's actually very close to where I am now in uh, Gomel and there is the same thing uh, basically you know it was a small town there was only like two nightclubs one good restaurant and um, basically the reaction was massive um, when I walked in there like just about all the pretty girls in the club were really interested to talk to a foreigner and that's not going to be your experience in general if you go to city like Kiev but definitely not Odessa during the summer where there's just so many foreign guys chasing the girls there obviously Chernihiv did not get it doesn't have an airport uh, as far as I know anyways and it just doesn't get that traffic of foreigners uh, going there so obviously it's a big deal and girls are of course curious to meet someone who comes from outside who has a different story uh, because often in these smaller towns if you were to live there and be socializing every weekend as a single girl there aren't too many options right you're probably only going to go two or three places and it's going to be the same people in them uh every weekend so obviously if you meet someone from outside who's uh going to have also going to be more interesting for them maybe has a higher socioeconomic status uh, has traveled a lot more has interesting stories um, is probably going to be more presentable and better looking um, than the guys maybe that they're used to seeing in their their hometown and that's definitely going to play in your favor Chernihiv was a lot of fun I have to say met some great girls there uh, and it was definitely uh, this kind of 
well, I don't really want to use the word white godfather because everybody's white, uh, or 99% of people are white here, obviously. Uh, but th the fact that I was from a different uh, country, uh, one that they had a pretty positive view of uh, <clears throat> being from you know, Western Europe, definitely was a big, big advantage. So definitely think of that. Another city that I've always had a great time in is Kherson, uh, another great small town close to Crimea in Ukraine. Uh, and they are just like, there's only ever one or two places to go to, but uh, it's just, you have that concentration of um, local girls going there who are single, plus the fact that not so many foreigners go there. Now, Harrison does have a, an international airport, so a lot of guys can fly directly from Turkey, for example. Uh, and I actually remember before those flights started, so maybe that's changed a little bit, but there you get my point. It's like, look for these smaller towns, especially the ones that are not so well connected uh, by airplanes, um, and you're gonna be probably onto something. You do need to do reconnaissance. That's why someone like, like me is here has already done it for you. Uh, um, so if you are thinking of coming anyways to the region, then I'll be able to give you the lowdown, not just on the bigger cities, like the ones that I obviously make the travel vlogs in, mainly like Odessa, Lviv, uh, Kiev, Kharkov, Minsk, you're gonna be going to Russia pretty soon, so you're gonna see stuff from St. Petersburg and Moscow, but also the smaller towns, and we can discuss it if I think it's a good fit for you. So definitely uh, hit me up on Instagram, my handle is Zara Experience, or send me an email at connorkleyn at zarexperience.com, uh, and we can discuss it further, we can jump on a call and see if it's a good uh, fit for both of us to work together, and you will get to live the Zara Experience if well, if I think it's a good fit for you to come and join me on one of my epic adventures in Eastern Europe. Gonna have so much great stuff coming over the summer. We're hanging out mainly in, uh, well, I'm always hanging out in this region for most of the last year, but uh, gonna be in Russia for almost a month. Very special trip. Put that one open basically to my mailing list and previous clients. It's a very special trip. Very excited to be going and filming for the first time in Russia. Also, of course, going to be spending part of the summer in Ukraine, in my spiritual home, Odessa, in the south, on the shores of the Black Sea. Uh, kind of excited to get back. I haven't, really, I haven't been there since December. And, of course, coming here to Belarus at times. Um, Belarus does not have the seaside. It's landlocked. So, as a summer destination, it's a little less dynamic uh, than you're going to find in Odessa obviously because it's got that seaside feel, a beach vibe to it. And yeah, we've got some other trips lined up for Lviv and of course the capital of Ukraine. And with some of my uh, existing clients, we have been discussing actually coming to these smaller towns uh, like here in Gomel or in another one in Ukraine, just to give them that alternative experience. So definitely hit me up, write me, and you should be uh, following me on Instagram anyways, if you really want to get a good overview and a taste of what it's going to be like for you when you come here because every day I am you know publishing stories showing you what it's like uh, in the cafes bars and clubs in um, the cities that I happen to be in so definitely you should be following me there in any case so if you have had an experience in a smaller town particularly here in Eastern Europe it could but it could also be somewhere else where you think it'll add value just your you know what you got out of going to that smaller town as opposed to the bigger city then definitely drop a comment below uh, the video, let everyone else know, not just me. You also get to help out other guys who are planning to travel to this region, who are super enthusiastic about it. And I've really loved a lot of the stories that have been written there in the comments. And I think they provide a lot of additional help than what I can do you know, with my experience here in the videos. And definitely it's something that if you can contribute uh, to, I will notice it also as well. So you get good kudos from me. If you've enjoyed this video, then big thumbs up, of course. Uh, it lets me know it's not really it's not for my ego it's actually so i see what kind of content that you enjoy and i know then basically that's a proxy for me to make more of that kind of content so leaving a comment giving it a thumbs up always helps me you kind of give me the feedback that i need in order to prioritize what's going to be most helpful for to for you i assume if we've gotten to the end of this video i know you said about subscribing and all that stuff and you know about the notification bell um because we're at the end of another vodcast episode uh but i want to speak directly to you at the end of this video you know, I've been thinking about, you know, how I structure my trips here, living the Zara experience and how I've been able to help um, some of you as uh, some of the viewers as uh, clients personally and how to make that bigger and better for you. So if I know that you're probably watching this video, most likely, you know, back 
uh, in your hometown and you've maybe even finished the day's work this is what you live for to watch videos on YouTube and some of that is my videos and you're probably thinking oh, I would love to come and you know live Connor's kind of lifestyle um, you know traveling across Eastern Europe it's wild all the excitement all the different stories you know meeting beautiful women uh, having relationships with them and to be very candid like this for lifestyle is not for everybody. I understand that. Like, not everybody's going to be able to do this, like, basically full time. And I understand that that's not really for you. You have, you know, you're based in one city and you are basically working and making your money that way. But, you know, what are you doing next weekend? That's the question I have for you. I mean, you've probably been sitting here watching these videos so often, just wanting to come and experience for yourself. What are you doing next weekend? You know, come here live this our experience with me if it's a good fit and i think so definitely go and write me a message uh, and we can discuss it we'll jump on a, a strategy call together it's gonna be about 10 minutes long it's completely free um, so write me a dm on instagram or write me an email on my email connorcline at zarexperience.com and we'll discuss it and you know maybe even next weekend you can be here it's unlikely you will actually be in gomel <laughs> because uh gomel obviously doesn't have an international airport and you'd need a a visa but you get my point we can probably meet up in Minsk because I'm actually gonna go there uh, this weekend uh, and um, before I fly to meet a client in Odessa gonna fly out of the airport there so it could even be you actually if you wanted to come this weekend I actually have a free slot uh, to hang out in Minsk a couple of Belarus so if you've been watching these videos like you've been watching all this content if you get to the end of my vodcast episodes you know and if you haven't lived it yourself um, in this kind of way then you need to just you know write me a message and you know it could be you next weekend hanging out like in my you know I showed you the minced nightlife in winter you know I know you've been dreaming of experience that yourself so definitely just hit me up write me a message and we will talk very soon that is it from today's episode of the vodcast it's a pretty short one normally I tend to ramble on a lot more I know in these videos but I just wanted to share that about the small towns and some of the you know the value I got for them and obviously it was I should probably have said during the whole thing that yeah it was easier to meet uh, girls probably yeah overall I think in the smaller towns that are good that's why you need to do your reconnaissance and figure out which ones are going to be the best ones but definitely uh, you can meet more pretty girls in those um, in those cities than you're going to be in the big capital in general I mean there are some other factors uh, of course so like big cities tend to attract uh, the best of the best kind of girls because there's more money and opportunities there but that said you'll go further in those small towns definitely consider it and if not we will see each other very soon not just here in the next video but maybe in one of those bigger cities maybe one of those smaller cities in Eastern Europe Desvidanya Dapabacina from Gomel Homel in Belarus close to the border with Ukraine and Russia see you very soon ciao SAR EXPERIENCE